Good morning, everyone. Bettina Carey here again with the WeEmpowerYourLife.com and the We Empower You Summit. And I'm here today with Jonike Severy and a lifelong soul sister and friend. And she's going to be one of our upcoming speakers at the We Empower You Global Virtual Summit, March the 10th. So Jonike, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're going to be speaking about at this quarter's summit. This quarter, I'm going to be talking about um, our resources, the resources that give us more personal power. We could call them pillars of resource. And there are four. There is presence, energy, intention, and commitment. And these resources are the base for probably everything that I understand. Um, if you are present, you are available to learn, to grow, to be your best self, to catch every now moment. If you have energy, you can sustain that. You can do what's important to you. You can learn new things. You can uh, try to change ideas in your mind, which changes how you see the world. If you have intention, now we all have intention, but the question is, is it focused enough to actually reach your goals? Intention, which is um, acknowledged through results is what we're talking about. And the intention is to be able to set out to do something and then actually see it manifest. And then finally commitment. And it's difficult to know where commitment falls. We could probably roll these around, but the commitment is actually what it takes for you to stay with it. And we know right now, so many things have changed our levels of, of energy due to COVID and social unrest and many things so that we have to be present to notice our energy is low, to do better self-care, which upgrades our energy, which helps us focus more on intention, which gets a commitment that has positive results. So it's a really beautiful circle. I love it. And we often talk about this, uh, where you're flying with your authenticity and your spirit of authenticity. And I think that that's really uh, a key um, learning that's gonna be had at this uh, summit this time around. We're so excited to have you. So I definitely have um, leaned into this, these four pillars of um, being and uh, presence in particular is one that I just am constantly focusing on every single waking moment and maybe perhaps even in my sleeping. <laughs> I think it's so, so important to remember the power of now and uh, you, myself, and Lauren Archer are going to be, uh, you know, burgeoning a new podcast called Awaken in Her Hour, po Power Hour. And that is another topic that we're going to be talking about at the summit. So can you also share a little bit about what these four pillars can do to awaken the power within? I would say, let's just talk about what's happened recently. Most people having been social distancing and staying in their homes more, have become present to their environment. They've become present to things they didn't notice about their home. They've become present to their children in a far different way as not just as loving parents welcoming them, them home after school, but actually engaging with them as teachers in many cases. So we've gotten to look at presence, some of the benefits and some of the things that allows us to notice that we would miss. So the beauty in noticing, even if it's something that you're like, oh, I didn't know that was happening. I'm surprised I didn't see it before, allows you to make choices. And those choices often require energy. Once I see something I wanna change or I wanna sustain, I have to check in. You know, you talked about sleep. Am I getting enough sleep? Do I have enough energy? Am I feeding myself? Most people have gained four to five pounds due to COVID. So something's happened around their understanding of how they use their body and trying to get out more or trying to find ways to exercise at home. Or, or take long walks, that all moves into intention. If I have this intention to change something, if I want to increase my energy, I have to have a plan and a way to do that it sustains me and that is something I can do that's realistic, right? I'm not gonna run a hundred miles if I'm in my apartment or in my home, but I can decide to walk two miles in a place I feel safe and comfortable. That moves us into commitment. What's the commitment for me? My personal commitment is to serve people, to be there, to be a resource, to be, a coach to be a trainer that yours is to empower people and you have many other beautiful things you're doing and although we are using different words in my mind we're doing a similar thing but i can't keep my commitments if i not present if i don't have my energy 
if if I if I if my intention wavers, then my commitment will not be revealed and and finalized. Yes, and and you also always say that you're always getting what you're intending. So if you're not getting what you think you deserve, maybe you need to change your presence, your commitment, your energy around your intention so that you can land whatever goal it is that you're trying to achieve. Well, you know, it's so, a, interesting. There was a really um, fun speaker that I heard a long time ago and from the front of a very large audience when we used to have them in person, she said, how many of you want to know what you want in your life? And people yeah. kind of looked at her and said, what? And she said, how many of you want to know what you want in your life? Raise your hand. So everybody raises their hand, right? So there are all the hands go up. And then she says, Think about your life, close your eyes. So we all do whatever that is for us. She, she says, open your eyes. And she said, did you see all that in your life? Everybody nods here. And she said, that's what you want. And the audience goes, what? And she says, because what you want is what you've got. In other words, I might intend to be wealthy, but if I'm not wealthy, then there's been a, there's been a gap between my desire and my ability to make it happen. So she wasn't belittling what people had in their lives, but more saying, we do have what we want because that whatever energy we've moved forward towards something, this is what we've received today. So she doesn't do it to shame people, but more to say, there's a gap between what your mind says you want and what your presence, energy, intention, and commitment is achieving. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and we often talk, you know, as I'm one of those people that sets my intentions on one path and I kind of just beat my path to the door, so to speak. And I, you know, I'm, I'm very good at it. And I know that um, you've often remarked about that. <laughs> it's like, boy, you seem to know just the right actions to take to make things happen. And you're persistent and you're, you know, you're always um, able to reframe or, uh, you know, look at things a little differently as, and shift, be able to shift is also important. Um, you know, there's a lot of that, uh, that, that word pivoting going on these days, but I certainly am a good example of following these four pillars of strength. And I can't wait to have you at the summit to talk about that. So the summit, for those of you who are watching this Facebook Live, it is March the 10th, and you're not going to want to miss a single beat. It's a 12-hour marathon day. It starts at 8.30 a.m., and it ends at 8.30 p.m. And you can come for an hour, but you'll likely stay for 12. And we open with a wonderful opening reception as well as a closing ritual. And we have two separate breakout sessions built in. We have a networking round built in that's brand new. And it's uh, by popular demand that we're bringing this networking session to the floor. It's gonna be a fantastic day of uh, 30 presenters in both keynote uh, breakout session presentations and you're not gonna wanna miss it. To join us, uh, go to weempoweryourlife.com and click on the summit tickets page and you will be able to buy your $17 ticket. It's just $17 for the entire day. We um, have no barriers to entry. We wanna make sure that you're able to attend this event. So thank you so much for joining me here today. John. And we'll see everyone at the summit. Bye for now.